Two people are dead. A third is injured after shooting early yesterday morning on South Howard Avenue in Tampa. And while police still working to identify the suspect, TPD tells us the three victims knew each other. 28 year old Kenneth Washington and 23 year old Kavon Christmas died in the shooting. The name of the third victim has not yet been released, but police say they have non life threatening injuries. Going to get right out to ABC Action News reporter Keely McCormick live outside the Tampa Police Department this morning. Keely, walk, Keely, walk us through what happened here. Well, Tampa police tell us an argument in Soho led to a shooting which killed two people and injured one more. Now this morning, detectives are still working to identify the suspect involved in that shooting. Meanwhile, people who live and work in Soho are left feeling uneasy. I, I, I I don't want to live here anymore. Lisa Parker voicing frustration and concern after walking up to the crime scene during her Sunday morning walk. Parker lives in the area and says the recent shootings are leaving her feeling uneasy. 100%. Yes. Yes, it has. This is a really family oriented area, but not right here. This deadly shooting comes just two weeks after another shooting happened in the area, even closer to Parker's home. Just last weekend, the Tampa Police Department told us they increased police presence in the area to keep up with foot traffic in Soho. They said calls for service were up, but crime was not. We have not seen an increase in crime, even though we've seen an increase in uh, citizens coming down to Soho. There's been no increase in crime that we've seen. But the deadly Mother's Day shooting tells a different story. Just it's a bit scary that seems that people and gun violence is just more and more prone to happen. Roland Nagy is the manager of Fine Inc. Soho. ABC Action News spoke to him earlier this month when he told us he welcomed more people in Soho because it brought in more business. But after seeing forensic units on his drive into work Sunday morning, he says he's feeling on edge. It's a bit tough to stomach and I mean, it's definitely something that I already talked about to the owner before of, you know, uh, us po possibly having to, you know, keep it like, you know, if I could bring my weapon to work just to make sure that if anything like that were to happen in our business that we could, you know, protect ourselves. Nagy said he feels safe at work during the day, but thinks the area is more prone to violence at night once alcohol is involved. He tells us he hopes people can put the guns down take that on the chin and just go because it's not really worth getting into an altercation with someone that might end in gun violence. And police are still investigating this shooting. If you have any information, you're asked to contact the Tampa Police Department. Reporting live in Tampa, Keely McCormick, ABC Action News.